yeah. You know at the end of my last video, when I said I took a bit of a tumble on my skateboard, but it was nothing to worry about, turns out I actually fractured my wrist. Yeah, so now I'm stuck in a, a cast for five weeks. Well, it's not a cast, it's like a splint, I can take it on off. But I've got to wear this for five weeks. It makes making videos a little bit tricky, but we're going to go with it. We're going to go with it. All is good, it will heal. It's not a problem. So a few weeks ago, I made a video with another YouTube creator, Sam Holland, and it was all about how you can edit in Premiere Pro because I have always been a Final Cut Pro user and I was looking at learning the very basics of Premiere Pro. And we made a video together and in it, Sam talked a lot about the organization process inside Premiere Pro. And since that video, I've been getting a lot of questions about the organization process inside Final Cut Pro. So what I'm going to talk about in this video is how I organize all of my footage inside Final Cut Pro to make editing as easy and as quick as possible. Let's get into it. <laughs> Very quickly, just before we go any further, if you're new here to this channel, my name is Scott Edwards. I make all sorts of videography and tech related videos. So if they are the sorts of things you're interested in, consider clicking that little subscribe button just down below there and come and be a part of this community. Okay, so let's just get straight into it. I'm recording my screen of my MacBook down here as well so you can see everything I do. Now, the first thing I do when I have recorded my footage, I take the SD card from my camera and put it into my computer and I put everything on an external SSD. Now this is the Samsung T5. There are a million and one SSDs out there that you can go and buy though. I would highly recommend an SSD over a hard drive to edit from just because it is so much quicker. Do what you want with it once you've done all your editing, stick it on a hard drive, but to edit from, always use an SSD if you can do. So what I would do is I would go into my Finder app and import all of my footage into a project that I am working on. So let's take this ZV-1 for example. So all of my footage, this is a video I've already made, I made it previously. All my footage for this video, I separate out into different cameras. So I have all the footage I shot on my Sony a7C, some example footage of the ZV-1, Ignore this, this is the actual finished project. I also have some unboxing clips and some clips I shot on the ZV-1. So it's just a case of taking everything from your relevant SD card and the camera you shot it on and putting it in a correct named file so you know exactly where everything is. And this will then make it easier inside Final Cut Pro as well because you will be able to find everything that you need instantly. So you can go into as much detail as you want with this. You could add in new folders and for each day you shoot, for example, so you might want to shoot day one and you might have shot the A7C on day one and want to put all your footage in there, but I've not got that. So I'm just going to separate it out into different cameras. So what you can then do is then go even deeper into all of this organization inside the Finder app. This is all still before we open Final Cut Pro, but this is arguably one of the most important stages of editing, getting all of your footage organized because that will speed you up no end. So what you can do is you can right click on each of these folders and go down to tags and then you can select all of these tags and type in extra ones that you might want to. So you might want to type in a roll. You can add as many tags as you want to and you can then do this for each individual clip if you wanted to. And you can even add this to a group of clips at the same time. So if you want to highlight them all, right click, go down to tags. You can type in all of the tags that are relevant to those clips that you want to. You might have your own, you might have just some pretty standard ones. You might just want to type in the name of the camera again. However, this is going to speed you up inside Final Cut Pro as I will show you in just a second. So once you have all of your tags and all of your footage organized inside Finder, you can then go and open up Final Cut Pro. So when you have Final Cut Pro open, you want to close any libraries that you already have open. And we're gonna go straight to File, New, Library. And then we're gonna select the SSD because you want to edit from this. This will speed you up because you won't be clogging your computer up with huge library files. So you want to put your project onto your SSD. So I'm going to select that. 
And then I'm gonna go and select the folder that I want it in. And I want all of this project to be stored together. So I'm gonna go into my ZV1 video project and I'm gonna make a new folder and just title it project. And then inside this folder, I can then name this project. So I'm gonna call it the ZV1 wide angle lens and click save. So then we have this library that is open here and we've called it ZV1 wide angle lens. But then you want to go over to modify settings, which is on the right. And you can see here that everything is being stored in the library. And that's not what we want. We want everything to be stored on the SSD. So we're gonna go in and select exactly that folder that we have just made. So we're gonna go videos, ZV1 lens and select the project folder and click choose and we're going to do that for all of these and there we go you can leave this motion content folder leave that as it is but for media cache and backups you want all to be stored on the ssd so everything is together and that makes it even easier as well if you want to go and take your library to work on a different computer take your ssd plug it in you can open that library straight away and you won't have any trouble because all of this footage and all of your renders everything is stored in that one folder so then you're going to click ok and now everything is set up on your SSD. Nothing will be stored on your computer and that will hopefully keep your computer running quicker in the long run as well. You're not gonna bog it down with loads of folders and files that it doesn't need to have on it. And this is what took me quite a while to figure out inside Final Cut Pro because what I used to do is I, when I had my project open, so let's say we are working on a 4K project and I want to drag in some video files. What I would do is literally have my finder window open and if I wanted to drag in this clip here, I would have just dragged it in from the finder app, which is absolutely fine. It works, but what it means is you're gonna to have to go down to the finder every single time you want to import a new clip. It works, I did it for years. I know you can import stuff up here. That's the workflow I used for years because it worked for me, it's different for everyone. But what you can do, and this makes everything so much quicker, and it also uses, if you remember, those folders and those tags we made before inside Finder, is you have this event here, and you can add as many as you want of these, you can add a new event if you wanted to, but we're gonna go with this one, and we're just gonna leave it named as the date because you can name it whatever you want to. But I'm gonna go down to the Finder, and find that footage folder that we created before with all of our footage from the different cameras. And we're gonna select the different camera folders where all of our footage is. So I have four here because I have four different recordings of different examples of footage. And literally all you're gonna do is drag it straight into that event. And you can see here that those keywords that we've typed in have automatically appeared down the side how good is that? It just speeds everything up so much quickly. So much quickly? That doesn't make sense at all. But it also separates it out into those folders. So those folders here that we have, we have Sony A7C, Examples, Unboxing, ZV-1. They are all here. It's A7C, Examples, Unboxing, ZV-1. And those tags that we created as well. So we created some tags on these clips. If we go in and see here, we have A-Roll we have all of our A-roll clips there. So all you have to do is click A-roll and then you have all of the footage you need exactly where you need it and then you can just go in and scrub through, click I for your in point, O for your out point, drag it in. How easy is that? It is so good. And since I figured this out, I can't believe it took me so long to figure out, but since I have figured it out, it has sped up my editing process so much. It really has. I'm really glad that I have finally figured it out. And it just works so well with the Finder app because you can add in all of these tags, as many as you want to on each individual clip, drag it all into your event, name your event if you want to, and it's there. You don't have anything else to worry about. So you don't have to go rooting through all of your footage to find that one clip 
that you really wanted and you cannot find it because you've been searching for ages. And what you can then do is you have the search bar at the top with your clip viewer as well. So you can search for any specific clip you want to. So you can scrub through all of these. And if you wanted to change your view to a more premiere like view, you can do that as well. So you can click this little button here and it will give you the names of each individual clip. If we want to just make that a little bit bigger, we can do. So you can then go and view your specific clip, scrub through the bits that you want to. So then if you wanted to select I for the in point and then O for the out point, drag in that specific clip. There you go. It saves so much time. I'd highly recommend using it. I can't believe it took me this long to figure it out, but organization when you are video editing is so important. It will make it so much easier for you because editing can be a very long and tedious process. I love editing, a lot of people don't, but this really does help a lot. So hopefully that helps you out if you are using Final Cut Pro to edit your videos and you are trying to find new ways or unsure of how to organize your footage inside Final Cut Pro. Maybe you have some other ways of doing it. Let me know how you organize your footage inside Final Cut Pro. Come and say hello in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I shall see you all in the next video. Oh, I thought that had water in it. It was cold tea in it. Oh. Ugh, that's disgusting. Genuinely thought it had water in it. Ugh. Well.